welcome back to Project Ozone. Hello. What did you hit me for? Hello. Tough oh love. My God. It's, it's because I love you, Duncan. Oh, shit. What was that? <laughs> Why would you even do that? You know what these things can do? <laughs> Don't kill me. Oh, my God. I'm surprised I didn't die there. I'm so surprised you didn't die. This is supposed to do 135 <laughs> hearts of damage. Why like, would you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why did you hit me back? This is the you school You tried to kill me. Ground. Oh, you are the worst. Ah. Oh. Jesus. Two lives remaining, Duncan. Oh, no. Maybe you should try and kill me. Well, you've My got like God. 50 lives. I feel like we should try and level the playing field a bit. Uh, oh, that's point, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're way Because you you're spawned way. in all of your Salt Lord 5000. I didn't spawn them in. I spawned them in for Shin and then they didn't work. Try yeah. pardoning me, Duncan. Somebody said I could so I pardon. pardon. My God. You're like a little kid in the playground, aren't you? When someone hits you and you have to hit them back. Come on, Duncan. Learn a bit of restraint. Look, turn... oh, I'm restraining myself right now. Why don't Lewis? you listen to the words of our <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ and turn the other cheek? Why shoot an arrow through that portal? Will it come out the other Man, side? I'm salty now that you killed me. Actually. Well, maybe you shouldn't have tried to kill me. Lewis. Well, maybe. It's fairly, it's. I think I'm fairly how justified. How did you not die? Um, don't try it again. Well, no. How did you not die? Because did you have like um that? Do you have an artifact that gives you I, cheat death? I I might do. I think yes. that might be it, right? And it's on I, like a minute cooldown. So a minute. Oh, so it's run out by now, Lewis. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let's, start let's this because you, you will lose. Let's see you cheat and I cost a heat from bitch. What? Uh oh. Don't do it, shit. <laughs> I'm going to ram one up your ass and <laughs> spin it like a top. No. No. No, Please. I'm not. I'm not going to. That's my bum. So horrible. last time. I, from there. I, I worked a little bit. I made, some, I made some lamps. I made a couple of pink lamps. I thought about extending this. this I've got some nice windows in this building now. To, to look out over the world, which is quite cool. I'm going to have to put glass into these windows, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. at some point. Uh, I, I feel like I want to get this water wheel, like a visible bit of glass showing the water, because that's quite a tranquil thing to look out on. Also, these these windows are a bit too high for some reason. Um, I put, put some lamps ready. I changed the floor to iron. Iron blocks with rivets, which are quite nice. I was Ooh, thinking about putting yeah. a second floor up here, but I need to actually... I was, I, even got I was just getting texture. some more... Here, so I could. I, I was thinking about having a second floor up here, and this is where I'd put all my fluid trans. Oops, my mm -hmm. fluid transposers. Uh, I've got another storehouse um, because I figured like maybe maybe we need this one for somewhere else. Um, and what else did I do? I, I made a bit more board, steel. Though. I made a bit more dark steel. That's it, I think. What have you guys done? So Shim wasn't here last sesh. Oh yes, we um, didn't do very much though. So oh, we, we were only we were only pootling around. We only spent about half an hour pootling around yeah. yeah didn't get much done I, do? I was i was starting to make a robot because i wanted to harvest the essence automatically for us oh that's right you were going to try because the harvester is because the harvest is too expensive, too expensive. Yeah. the harvester recipe shin is like quite complicated what did it need again why was it so expensive let's have a look uh it was it needed a zombie head that a was Z it. logic controller yeah. Oh, yeah i couldn't find a zombie head anywhere well i've got a zombie head what Why don't you ask me you got one no i'm just kidding oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has. And also, I think you can get him out of the... Where do you get him from, actually, Dunk? I don't know. I guess you've got to kill zombies until they drop a head. I haven't found any yet, though. It's a slice and splice choice reward. A slice and splice Oh, it's a questing, head. questing reward. Oh, a zombie head? Yeah, so maybe you only get one. What do you mean? Oh, I got loads of quests. Duh. Maybe you only get the one. Oh, yeah, there's loads of quests for you to turn in, Shin. Tons oh, yeah, we finished, like, a whole sheet of uh, quests. For some reason, somehow. We, well, we got all the um, essences upgraded, didn't we? Uh, yeah. What were we working on? You were not going to build the wind turbines, were you? Because you're lazy. Um, Hell furnace. I need the magma creams for that. That's right. I was looking for those. Can't be asked to do that, really, either. What else was I working on? Uh, mana pools need to be done. Shin's on that. That's Shin's, Shin's back. I still haven't done the spikes. Oh, I could just quickly do those. Um... Spikes, spikes and bins. Oh yeah, you were gonna put spikes down, weren't you? Somewhere. There's like three tiers of trash can as well, guys. Have you, oh, have you seen? <laughs> it's like a fluid trash can and an energy trash can. Quartz redstone. What's an energy trash can? It says why use this, but I guess maybe you could just like bin, bin. Um, if you had like a reactor, if you were having like some sort of test reactor series, and you wanted to just, maybe it's like a real thing. Okay. Like a little bit like when they have the Hadron Collider. Yeah. They have a huge amount of energy. So apparently, like, um, the Hadron Collider, when it heat when it heats up, when it speeds up, 
to collide particles, they collide with extreme force. But when they dump the beam, um, when they're done with it, if they, if they, they, I think it dumps with the energy of like a cruise missile or something like that, landing. Is that a lot? A cruise missile. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the, what my what my point of reference is. It's like imagine a cruise missile a, yeah. landing yeah. onto yeah. a like house, and that that's that's what happens when they dump the particle beams. I think so. They have this big. I think I seem to recall they have this big concrete kind of dump area where they just basically explode it into it at the end. So of the don't experiment. throw them away. Don't throw what away? You you said that when they dump the particle beam. Mm. I mean, they got to dump it, otherwise it kills the world. What? Don't worry, Shin. <sighs> I haven't finished quite finished this floor of a seat. The po the reactor <laughs> still. Can't finish the story either. Well, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Basically, um, where was I? What, what was what was I? <laughs> Never mind. Dumping taking Hadron cruise beams. missiles to the dump. Yeah, don't. Yeah, so it's What's like that moral? with sorry, it's like that with energy, okay? So maybe you've got like a reactor test testing field and you're generating a whole load of different power. You haven't got the batteries to store it in. You just have a trash can there and you pour the energy into the trash can. Just pretend that it's like um not not like a dump. Hello? Hello. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's night time. The only reason I can say it's night time is because the portal goes black as opposed to white. Uh, which is quite unusual. Feel free to to sleep. Too far away. Why did you kill me with a carrot, by the way, Duncan? What does that mean? Uh, that's what I called the the crossbow. Didn't uh... I? Didn't I name it? Uh, I think I might have told you to call it carrot. I can't remember. Yeah, because it was it was a name of a something, a dwarf maybe. What's yours called? Keely. Yeah, and I wanted mine called carrot because he's a dwarf from just. Oh, I see. He's from. He's not actually a dwarf, though, is he? Spoilers. Well. I mean, according he's, to dwarf law, he's a dwarf. He's uh, he was gr he grew up <laughs> with dwarves. Yeah, so it'll be like Mowgli, but he's just king small. of the jungle. Isn't actually he's a wolf, actually really big. He's though, like six he? foot five. What are we? Are we? Are you lying or is this true? It's true. Yeah, this is all true. <laughs> Mm. Wait, wait, wait! What? He's not actually a dwarf. Not genetically. No, he's a human that was brought up by dwarves. But why? And his is dwarven he's... name is Headbanger. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> oh, that's such a Terry Pratchett's great, isn't he? Oh man, I love I love old Terry. Man, I need to start reading all Discworlds again. I got them all on audiobook, but man, there's so much to go through. It's just like I can't fit them all on my on my phone. I had them. All, I, I felt like it was a little bit all or nothing having them on my phone. I feel like well, I feel like I didn't want to put like just one book on there. Well, the thing is, you can have them all on Audible, but and just download them as you play them. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's only but, like 100 meg each, if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm listening to a book called um, The Three Body Problem, which is quite cool. It's, it's written by a Chinese guy. Um, so it's a Chinese language convert, uh, converted, translated to English. And it's a science fiction book, so it's pretty complicated stuff. Um, but yeah, man, I, I guess like I've never read a. I, don't, I, don't, I, I like reading foreign language stuff, but I've never read anything like a novel for fun that's been Chinese before, which is quite unusual. I've read various Japanese things like Murakami's and I've read um, like The Witcher, which is all translated from the Polish. And I quite like, I must admit, I quite like books that have been translated from another language because, and also I've read all of the Steve Glass and stuff, you know, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, all this stuff. All that stuff's really great. I guess like, the reason I quite like those books is because... They're not too difficult to read. I, I don't, I don't really. When I'm reading stuff, I don't like to have to. I really don't like reading anything that's too too complicated. Uses too long words. Too pretentious. You know, I just I just want to read sort of Harry Potter level difficulty stuff, right? <laughs> and I feel like um, that tr tr stuff that's been translated from a foreign language tends to be simplified relatively. Um, the language of it, it's not. You know, it right. doesn't use too much pretentious language and it's just very easy okay. to read right I understand so I've been reading mm -hmm. yeah I really enjoyed the Witcher books they're pretty awesome um, I'm really enjoying this one it's pretty awesome and yeah so I've been I've been mixing up my my audio books because I, I, I walk into the office every morning so I get and, and home as well so I get like at least an hour and ten minutes of audio book every day 
and I used to go through all the podcasts and stuff. But man, I've just you run out of podcasts. I've just kind of got frustrated with the podcasts I was listening to. Which one were you listening to? Uh, oh, I, uh, I've got loads. I've got like because thing is, whenever I meet people. You know, like uh, when we met, they tell you what podcast they tell. Yeah, to, we, yeah, they say oh, they you know, like, oh yeah, this is this podcast. I'm like, oh yeah, let's share podcast. And they give me a load of them, and I've got like loads of them. But I, I was listening to the old hardcore history, but it got a little bit too much for me. It, too hardcore. It got a little bit depressing. You know, I've been listening to a bit of that. Actually, I'm listening to the the World War One ones, and my God, they are bleak. I know they're really. <laughs> They're really depressing. World War so. One was such a fucking terrible thing that happened. Oh my Christ! I know, it's just awful. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I've been, I've been sort of, I've, I've, I'm on a, I'm on a hiatus from. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine from podcasts for a while. <laughs> um, I've had, had enough of the grim reality, of the real world. Yeah, and I'm losing myself in some fun, um, well, as fun as they can be, books. The Witch is quite good though because it's kind of. It's quite subversive in a sense. Like, it, it, you, you know, he he doesn't just kill everything, but mm. at the same time, he's quite he's quite his morals are a little bit loose, and uh, it's, it's, sometimes it's sort of it's a little bit unexpected what's going to happen. Even though I've played the games, and so the games are very, very heavily drawn from the books, actually, which is nice because it kind of gives you more context as to why people in the games say stuff like why Gerald is the butcher of Gerald Gerald why Geralt is the <laughs> butcher of Blaviken and stuff like that so yeah it's good I, I recommend I recommend if you've got any good book tips for me let me know I'll I'll eat them up eat them up what about you guys I've, I'm gonna actually make something now um because I've just been chatting away the whole time it's your guys it's your guys turn to to chat while while I while I, while I try and make something oh sorry I was minimized what are you talking about <laughs> what <laughs> so what are you kidding. doing Shin? just kidding I'm looking for steel Steel. Look in the old uh, storage, Majiga. Yeah, loads of steel. Sweet, sweet. I, I haven't read many foreign language books. I, I read something, foreign language actually. Was it manga? Called, uh, no, it was called it's really Karma manga. Chameleon. Right, by Culture Club. Yeah. No, it's an Kanji Indian Club. book about sex positions. Oh, oh, you mean the Karma Sutra? Oh, yeah, that one, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you read that? <laughs> it's, isn't it just all pictures? Yes, the best kind of book. <laughs> <laughs> has it helped you out? Has it, has it fulfilled you? Yeah, you can realise how some, inflexible he is. Got some more special moves. <laughs> it's all about to to variety, retinue. right, Shin? It's all about mixing it up. That's what life. Life variety is the spice of life. Okay. Honestly, paprika is the spice of life. Paprika is maybe the spice of your life, and if you rub it on your dick, then I'm sure Ooh. it'll be. Wait, dick? What? Wait, okay. Smoked or unsmoked? <laughs> what? Uh, smoked dick? What? No, paprika. Oh. Smoke on, smoke on this, Shin. Smoke. Smoke on my dick. Oh, no. Smoke on the I, 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 I just we... put this table down. Thanks. <laughs> so I can use it, and you won't instantly use it. Uh, you know, <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Shit, what's this table? How do I work this engineer's workbench, Duncan? You're a smart guy. What do you want to do with it? Make a gun. A gun? Yeah. These crossbows are better than guns. I know, but guns look cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Why don't you go to the fucking th the project, Duncan, and find on on some corner like a crack dealer and say, you know what, your gun your gun's shit. Take a crossbow. It's better. The project. Projects. <laughs> where they deal drugs. Yeah. You know, the rough the rough parts of town. Oh, for God's sakes! Fish ponds. Yeah. Why don't you go to fish <laughs> ponds? <laughs> That is rough there. <laughs> I don't think anybody's got a gun there. That's sorry. That's a local no, area of Bristol for, for those of you who don't know. I it's, feel like we ought to uh, fill people in for yeah, people who might not ponds understand. Fish is a lot like is. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. Is it? I don't know anything about New Jersey. I would say so. I would say Clifton is like it's where the snobs live. So it's um, San Francisco. What? San Francisco. Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> Okay, I need to make some enchanted books. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'm making these spikes, but to make spikes, you need enchanted Ooh. magical wood. Please. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, really. But at least it'll it'll do these quests, and then we don't have to come back to them. Mm. Uh, what were you What were you What were you saying anyway? What were you being rude about? Why were you talking about the projects? Oh yeah, no, no. no. I've I've also read um, some Dostoevsky. Is that his name? Have you? Yeah, the brothers Karamazov. It's a good book. Recommended to me. By a Greek man I, I once met, who was in a band. You've read, you've read the Brothers Karamazov? Yes. 
Really? How long ago was yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like 16 when I wrote it. Oh, okay. I, and then I, after that, he just read The Wheel of Time over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> he knows you so well. Well, do you know why they call it The Wheel of Time, Duncan? Because <laughs> as soon as you finish the last one, you can forgotten the start of the you original. You can't start again. And pretend it's a new cycle. <laughs> the wheel of time turns, <laughs> and the books, yeah, just fucking <laughs> just. It's a good series of books. But I know it's it great. I've read yeah, it it's twice. Great. I think I Have took you? some pictures. That was enough, though. Oh god, I, I couldn't. I don't know. I got about halfway through, and I was I couldn't get on with it. Well, I I, I finished the whole lot until and it's at the, it's at the last book, and then I read the lot, whole lot again before the last book came out. But wasn't that Brandon Sanderson who did the last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love two, I actually. Love he did do the last two, yeah. Like, the last one was really good, actually. It it's was definitely very, a step up. Very excellent. Actually, no, I liked the one before the end. I liked Towers of Midnight was my favourite book. Yeah. Probably okay. more that one. Was that, was that, a, was that um, written by the original guy? No, Brandon Sanderson's done. Oh, right. Yeah. I think it was half and half, actually, wasn't it? Gear they say all of it's half and half at the end. It's tough to like have someone else pick up your universe and for the for the sort of audience to not lose their minds over it though. I think he honestly like improved it. Did he did he keep, did he did um original who's the original guy who wrote the rest? Did he keep like pretty extensive notes? Robert Jordan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. apparently apparently he knew he was going to die for quite a while. So um, well, it's inevitable, Shin. All of us die. Well, we're all he, dying. Was, he knew he wasn't going to finish the series. Right. So he did, did, yeah. I'd like to apologise for a super young audience that doesn't read books. Oh, well, that doesn't realise they're going to die at some point. <laughs> that doesn't realise they're going to die. Spoilers, you will. Spoilers. You're going to die like Squiddy died. Everybody poops yeah. and everybody dies. In flames. In the, I'm coming to your house right now with a Whoa. gas can and some matches, bitch. Right, I'm making Jesus, Shin. enchanted books. Guess we're going to have a barbecue. Tell him. And you've got a gas. Soldier boy, tell him. There's evidence now. Soldier boy, did you just say soldier boy, tell him? <laughs> yeah, I did. What? <laughs> I'm not coming to your house. I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're in the project. Yeah. Holy um, shit. I need to get tooled up actually if we're going to the projects. Right. Why? What is that what you're doing now? You're making a gun. <laughs>